So welcome back everyone, Mike here. We're down here at the sawmill this evening and we have a really nice log on the mill tonight. This is a big old white oak right here. Now this tree was dead for about three or four years. I've been keeping my eye on it. And this past winter, I had my buddy Pete. He goes by Nuts319 on YouTube. He's a logger. He came up and dropped it for me. I didn't feel real comfortable with this tree. Had some real hard lean to it, a bunch of dead limbs on it. But Pete got it on the ground. Now, if you saw that last video, I took the uh, Kubota KX57 excavator and I got three logs up here to the sawmill. This one right here is an eight footer. Actually, it's eight feet, six inches long, 29, 30 inches in diameter, probably weighs right around 2,600 pounds. This is the second log. The first log or the butt log, it's over there. It's uh, 10 feet six. Then the third log's over there as well. It's another eight feet six. Now the butt log is the best of the three. This would be the second best right here. Now my sawmill is a Woodmiser LX150. And even though it has the power feed, power up and down, the set works and all that, it's still a manual mill. It does not have the hydraulic log turner on it. And my buddy Nathan from Out of the Woods YouTube channel, he's always saying, Oh, Mike, you need to get a hydraulic mill. I got plenty of hydraulics right there behind me. So I'm about to get started on this log. And what I'm going to do here is I got the excavator sitting right here. On the other side of it, I've got a couple 4x4s on the ground. So what I'll do, even the slabs are going to be really heavy. So once I cut a piece off, I'll lift it off with the excavator, put it over there on those 4x4s on the other side of the machine. And then when I need to flip the log, I'll lift the whole log off, swing it over to the 4x4s, flip it, set it back on the mill. Hydraulics, sawmill.
see what we got here. It's about 21 inches wide, but you got about uh, 16 and a half, 17 inches of nice clear wood here in the center. Beautiful stuff. What I'm going to do, I'm taking some of this four quarter, putting it on the other side of the excavator there in a stack. I'll trim the edges later, but I'm just kind of taking some weight off of this. I think after I take this board off here, I will lift the whole thing off with the excavator, flip it 180 degrees. So I came down to help Mike and I realized that the excavator has replaced me. Well, this is really big, heavy wood and it's just a little bit easier with that. I just have to work harder in the gym. I guess so. <laughs> hey, but when I was walking down, I noticed right by where you have the cistern tank in the ground and you've been putting all that fill over top of it. So coming from our, our house down, there's it's everything flat, you know, it's flush. And then behind the cistern tank is just this Drops right off. drop off to the existing yard and I have to laugh because uh, our son Levi 
and daughter-in-law Kate sent us a video of our grandson Ty today and out towards the front of his house they have a, a drop off in their yard and he took his cozy coop and pushed it down the front yard. So Levi took him down and said come on you have to push this back up so he's helping him push him back up and he's pulling and Levi's pushing and they were doing he had a video and uh, he's like wait wait he goes you need to help me. And he looked back and he let go and just kept walking. And I uh, thought, whatever, you know. So I just picture where that cistern tank and the fill is that he'll be riding his big wheel uh, or his bicycle and just pedaling right off that big jump. So that is a really, really nice hunk of white oak right there. And I was telling them earlier, this is actually the second log. The first one will be better. This one had a few knots in it and things. How wide is that right there? This is um, 16 and a half. 16 and a half, and it's still about uh, 30 inches tall. Yeah. I will, uh, I'll take another slab off the top of this, a couple four quarter boards, and then a few eight quarter. Okay. We'll put those away for a rainy day, Melissa. They'll be our retirement fund. Yeah. Whew. No joke. Pretty soon we'll be trading lumber for groceries or yeah, that's right. something. we got a nice piece of uh, eight quarter. Got one knot right here. Nice tight knot though, no problem at all. That's beautiful. Hmm. Yeah. Pretty nice. So we just kind of took a little break there, enjoying the uh, evening. Yeah. It's been a nice day. It was sunny today and it warmed up, which was nice. We didn't have to put a sweatshirt on. Yeah, it's a good day. It's about time. Yeah. Um, but this is beautiful. Look at this. Tonight. All right. I'm not sure if I'll finish this up or not, but uh, I'll get a little bit more done here. Do your best, Mike. Just do your best. I won't give up. Yeah. Hey, if you get a minute, go to Morgan's Off The Leash. That's my YouTube channel. Check out my most recent video. I think you'll like it.
want to show you something here. I mentioned earlier that this was uh, standing dead for about three or four years. Still at 32% moisture content. But anyway, all my batteries are dying on all my cameras, and Melissa just called and said the steak salads are ready for dinner. So I'm going to wrap this video up. I really appreciate you all being here. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, share them with your friends. Thanks.